to the AnyWord Workshop. I'm Jenna, a content marketing manager here at AnyWord. And today we're gonna explore how to create the best blog post using AnyWord. Hey AnyWorders, I'm on AnyWord and I've started my new post for a blog post. In this first section right here, you're gonna describe the post you wanna create. For this example, my post is about healthy smoothie recipes. And then you're gonna put in your industry or topic. All right, I'm gonna hit next and go to the title section. All right, here are some titles that the AI generated for us. And these numbers right here let you know how likely users are to click on your blog. Keep in mind, you can edit any of these titles in line and immediately get a new predictive performance score. You can also add your own title right here. And the AI will generate a new predictive performance score for your own title as well. You can generate as many titles as you want just by hitting generate more right here. This title section is also great to help you brainstorm ideas for your blog post. All right, for this example, I'm gonna go with this one and hit next. The AI has generated our outline for our blog post based on our title and descriptions. You can edit any of these section headlines in line. You can also delete any of these sections right here. You can also add your own section right here. All right, I hit next, and now we're going into our intro paragraph. Here are some intro paragraphs that the AI generated for us. If you want to continue to generate intro paragraphs, just click generate more right here. You can edit any of these intro paragraphs in line and immediately get a new predictive performance score. Keep in mind, you can also write your own intro paragraph instead, and the AI will generate a score for that too. All right, for this example, I'm gonna go with the first one and hit next. Once your setup is complete, you are good to go and you can continue to editor. All right, now we're in our editor and you'll see our title, our intro paragraph, and our paragraph sections. Let's generate generate copy for our first paragraph section. Awesome, and you can generate copy as many times as you want. Just hit start over right here, and you can generate copy again from scratch. If you're happy with the copy here, and you want the AI to continue to generate copy, just hit continue right here, and the AI will add copy to the section. Keep in mind you can adjust the length of the copy generated right here with short, medium, or long. And this section right here lets you further direct the AI to include something very specific. Now for this example, say I want to direct the AI to talk about the health and taste benefits of this smoothie recipe. I could just write that in here where it says the text should talk about and hit continue. Wow, and you can notice here how the AI specifically included the instructions that we gave it. If you're happy with your paragraph but you just want to rephrase some of the sentences, just highlight the sentences you want to rephrase and you can hit rephrase right here. Now you have the choices to accept the rephrase sentence. Try again, which will have it rephrase the sentence again copy to clipboard or cancel. I really like this rephrase, so I'm gonna hit accept. Keep in mind, if you ever wanna undo the last thing you did on here, just hit undo right here. You can also change the order of these paragraphs with these up and down arrows. If you wanna check that none of your copy was plagiarized, just hit this right here, and you'll see that your text is 100% unique. If you wanna delete a particular section, just hit the trash bin right here, and the section will be deleted. In editor, you can also continue to add sections by just hitting these plus signs right here. And now you have a new section to initiate copy. All right, once you've generated copy for all of your sections and you're happy with it, just hit copy right here, which lets you immediately paste it to your website. And if you're ever unsatisfied with the copy being generated, just go back to your brief here and make sure that all the information in your brief best represents the blog post that you're going for. 